Today is a day that y'all probably never thought would actually happen. Yes, I am holding a Google Pixel, and yes, we are doing a pro tips and tricks about the Google Pixel 8a. Let's talk about it. Hello internet, how are you doing today? My name is Brian, if you are new here, and today we are going to be discussing and talking about the Google Pixel 8a, more generally about the Google Pixel experience and everything like that. We are going to be talking about tips and tricks of how to use your Google Pixel like a professional, like a pro. I'm going to be doing a separate customization video later on in the future. Today I just wanted to focus on tips and tricks of how to use your Google Pixel 8a because I'm a complete noob to pixels, okay? So this is completely new to me, completely fresh to me, and I am honestly obsessed with it. I think this is such a good phone, such a good user interface, so many good features, so many new things you can do with this. So I wanted to kind of compile them all together for a video for you guys. So if there are some features on here that I completely skipped over, be sure to mention them down in the comment section down below so you guys can find out cool tips and tricks of how to use your Pixel. we're going to talk about is all about customization. So as I mentioned, we're going to get more in depth into customization in future videos, but there are a few cool customization features that I definitely want to mention. So the first thing I want to mention is talking to you guys kind of about what material you is. Material you is basically what you see here. As you can see, everything is tinted on my phone. And if I go into my notification shade, that's all tinted as well. If I go into other applications, such as the Google application, and that is also tinted as well. The cool thing about material you is basically the whole entire user interface is basically customized to your certain color. So as you can see, even on this user interface it is customized to the tinted color purple even within the weather application you can see some of my tinting in there as well this is just super cool and i think this is something that is just awesome about the google pixel so let's get into actually how you can use material u on the pixel so here we go let's show you guys how you can actually use material u on the google pixel so if we press and hold right here in the home screen we go to wallpapers and style we go into here and this is where all of the magic happens you can do all this cool customization right here for your home and lock screen and you can also do themed app icon so obviously once you add your wall paper to this phone it will give you a bunch of different color options you can do down here it will completely change the way app icons look and everything as you can see as i'm changing them everything looks different and everything changes and you can do different colors on here i chose this purple layout because i think that looks pretty cool of course you get a bunch of different photos on here by google so if we want to go in here and do something a little bit different let's say we want to do this cute blue color i can add that to my home and my lock screen and and as you can see all of my icons is going to be readjusted to this color which i find that to be pretty cool and of course if we go to our lock screen we have have this cool lock screen customization feature where you can do clock size and everything. You can do shortcuts at the bottom of the screen. You can share your notifications on there. You also get more lock screen controls right here that you can do now playing. You can do shortcuts. There's a bunch of things you can actually do. There are so many different options you can use. Obviously, I like this one the best. Of course, you can do different sizes. You can do the size. You can make it dynamic. You can make it small. I like dynamic. That's kind of how you can customize the Google Pixel with Material U and being able to do all these really cool features with it. But what you also notice in the wallpaper settings, you can actually create your own AI wallpaper that you can use on your phone. If we tap AI wallpaper here, we can actually do a different theme. So if we want to do a texture, let's do a texture. And then we can actually add a bunch of different text into here. So we can do an abstract image of, let's say, red glass. An abstract image of red glass. So we can hit create wallpaper. And then using AI, it will automatically generate an abstract image of red glass for our wallpaper. So let's see what it does. And look at that. That's actually pretty cool. We get a bunch of different options we can do as well. That, or like this, or like this. These are actually really cool. I think this one is probably my favorite this one right here. Anyways, we're going to hit the check button right here. And there you go. It actually did change our wallpaper to that. I set the wallpaper and then we can change, of course, our color. So this is going to be our color. But what's also cool is I can go into other colors and I can add a color into it if I liked it a little bit better. We're going to just do our wallpaper colors like this. And that's going to be our theme. So now that we actually have this all set up, as you can see, my entire home screen completely changed to this wallpaper, which I this is just super cool how you actually have the ability to do this. That is how AI wallpapers work. There's also another thing you can do on here as well. And that is 3D wallpaper. Let's just go down to our wallpaper, more wallpapers. We can choose from our photos. We're going to do our pins. We're going to go back to this one. I want this to be here. Then we can hit the little magic button down here and we can create a cinematic wallpaper. What that's going to do is actually add some motion to our photo, which that is just super cool. The fact that you can do that is awesome. And as you can, wow, that is actually insanely cool. Okay, so this is how this works. I'm just going to hold it up like this to the camera so you can see. I'm going to unlock my phone. 
and there you go. Kind of got a little bit of a movement to it, which is pretty cool. I think it works differently with certain wallpapers. So kind of something a little bit experimental. I'm not sure how it will actually work on all wallpapers, but it's definitely something cool that you can do with a Google Pixel that you can't do with other phones. So that's pretty cool that you can actually do that right on the phone itself. So now let's talk about all the tips for the camera. There's actually a lot of cool things you can do with the Google Pixel camera. Let's get into it and talk about a few of them right now. So the first thing is the palm timer in the camera. Well, so we go right into the camera. Now, obviously you can see I am right here. And if I want to take a picture of myself, I just put my palm up and then a timer will start and it will actually take a picture of me, which is super cool. And this is kind of just a demo of the camera quality right here. And obviously, as you can see, it is very, very detailed, especially in really good lighting. It's pretty cool. I think this is something a lot of people definitely would like to use on their Google Pixel. On the camera itself, there's a lot of different features you can actually use on the camera. You can do photos, you can do night sight, you can do a panorama picture, but you also can do a long exposure. Now, long exposures are something that I have not seen on a phone. It's gonna be really hard for me to demonstrate this here, so I'm gonna do something a little bit weird. So if you wanna take a picture of something moving in the distance, you can do that. So I'm going to do a picture right here. I'm not going to show you the process of it. Do a long exposure. <laughs> Well, this is the long exposure shot. I mean, it does it. I mean, it does kind of something. I'm so sorry you had to witness that. Now we're going to focus on all the cool magic features that you can actually use within the Google Photos application that allows you to really customize and do really cool things with your photos and videos. So now we are in the Google Photos application and I'm going to show you guys all the really cool features you can do within the Google Photos app. So if we go down here to edit, we get a bunch of cool tools that you can actually use. And the cool part about it is that there is a little button down the corner, which is our magic editor. We go into our magic editor and what we can do is we can circle an object. So I'm going to circle my dog, Jesse, right here. I'm going to do that. And what I'm able to do is I can tap and hold this and I can make Jesse humongous. And then I can tap this and it's going to generate a new image with my Jesse being literally humongous. And there you have it. There's my dog, super size. This is our before <laughs> and this is our after. And obviously this actually looks pretty good. So that's one thing you can do with Magic Editor, of course. But we also can use the Magic Editor to erase things, which that's pretty cool. So Magic Eraser, I highlighted my section and I can hit erase. And it's going to generate a new photo without my dog Jesse in it. And there you have it. It literally took my dog out of the picture. Well, besides, <laughs> besides the tail, which looks a little bit sad, this is pretty good. This literally looks like my dog has never been there. Here's the before, here's the after. So yeah, you can do that with the magic editor on Google Pixel, which that is just super cool. So there's other things you can do as well. There's different suggestions you can do. There's new crops you can do. There's different tools you can do. There's also unblur, which is pretty cool. So basically what unblur lets you do is it lets you unblur all your pictures and get the photo to be very, very crispy and very, very high quality, which that is pretty cool. I didn't properly cover these in the video, but basically here are some other features you have, such as enhance, basically just enhances a photo, cleans it up. Then there is color pop, which allows you to select a certain portion of your photo to be colorful and the rest of it is black and white. And then black and white portrait is basically as it sounds. It turns your photo into a black and white portrait. So I'm goofing off on camera and I'm trying to like demo the um, magic eraser, magic editor feature. So I have this picture of Britney Spears and I think Don Teller Versace on my phone. But what I was able to do is turn Britney Spears into a little tiny little girl. <laughs> This is like the best feature I've ever done, like being able to resize pictures. Like, look at this. So Magic Editor for videos actually gives you so many cool things you can do. One thing you can do is you can do stabilization. So you can actually stabilize a video pretty seamlessly, which I find that to be pretty cool. But you can also do enhance, which basically enhances the video. You can also export the frame. You can do a different speed. But the really cool thing is there's a thing called audio eraser. It basically identifies all the sounds in the video. It allows you to mute background noise. Basically what I did is I filmed a video myself. On my computer, I had New York City noises in the background. So I wanted to kind of simulate kind of filming a video within a crowd. If you go into the audio eraser and you hit crowd and you hit minus 100, this is how it sounds. So this is just a test of the audio magic eraser. We're just testing and we're seeing if this actually works. This can actually look good or not. So this is just going to be a test clip. I would say it mutes about 95% of all the background noises of the video and it actually only focuses on your voice. So this is a super cool game changer, especially for content creators. It's able to do it very fast and very efficient. Now, obviously it sounds a little tiny bit compressed, but the fact that you can do that on a phone is awesome and insane. It's definitely something that I would recommend people do on a Google Pixel and it really does just make this phone a really cool versatile tool. So this audio magic eraser. It is a really cool tool that allows you to take background noise, mine it out 100% and just focus on your voice. And it does a really 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 good job with it. I also just want to kind of highlight the fact that there's a bunch of different video effects you can add to your videos and some of them are pretty cool. So it's pretty cool they can actually do that on the Google Pixel. But yeah I just want to show you guys that that's pretty awesome they can actually do that on a phone. 
So now let's talk about some other features on this phone that are really helpful, digital well-being. So what digital well-being is, is a bunch of cool features that you can do to help improve your screen time. It also help you with parental controls if you do have children at home. There's some really cool features that you can do in it. There's focus modes you can set up, which allow you to do certain schedule of notifications going through and to send distracted applications. Another really cool one, which I just turned on, is called flip to shh. So basically whenever you flip your phone over face down on a table, the phone will automatically mute all your notifications and everything. So literally whenever you flip your phone on a table like this, it will make your phone completely mute. That's really cool and very helpful. There's also screen time reminders you can do so you can give you reminders of when to stop using your phone. But that's just kind of another added cool feature of the Google Pixel. As you probably know the Google Pixel 8a features an always on display. Now this always on display is awesome and very cool and I absolutely love it on my iPhone and I love it on the Google Pixel. But what gives the Google Pixel an edge is the fact that whenever your phone is on the always on display mode and a song is playing within the background your phone will automatically display the song information right there at the bottom of the screen. This is super super cool. It's someone who Shazam songs a lot on their iPhone, having the ability to see what song is playing directly on the always on display is so freaking cool. And I believe this feature is actually on by default. I'm actually gonna give you guys a little bit of a demonstration. Obviously it says, I did something bad by Taylor Swift on the lock screen. That is so cool that the fact that it does that automatically on the phone. So what's really cool is when you tap the notification there, it tells you every single song that played on your phone in the past. What's also really cool is that you can tap the song individually and you can open it up automatically in one of your applications. This feature needs to be on iPhones. This feature needs to be on literally every single phone out there. Let's talk more about dynamic audio settings on the Google Pixel. This is something that I think iPhone should have. The fact that you can individually control all your volume settings for not only your media, but your calls, your rings, your notifications, and your alarms via this one setting is super cool. So all you have to do is when you're pressing up and down the volume button, there's three dots that pop up at the bottom. You pop up this menu and you can actually control all of these notification settings individually. So if I want all my calls to be not silent, if I want my media to be at 100%, if I want my ring to be right there and I want my notifications to be silent, I can do all of that right there from the settings and then it's super, super helpful. This is something that I think is pretty standard on every Android phone, but I just wanted to mention that here because I don't have that feature and having this feature on here is super cool and very helpful. And another feature that's not available on iPhones is split screen multitasking. So if I want to open up two applications on a Google Pixel, I hit split screen right here, open up another application, and what bam, right here, I literally have two different applications open on my phone. This is so helpful. I wish this was available on the iPhone. This should be available on the iPhone, especially the fact that I can literally do two things at once. Not really a tip, but it's a feature that I didn't want to highlight to you guys that is available on the Google Pixel, which literally just makes this Google Pixel such a good freaking Another really cool feature on the Google Pixel is Emoji Kitchen. So what this basically allows you to do is whenever you pop up your emojis on screen, so let's test out Emoji Kitchen. And if I tap an emoji, I get a bunch of different emoji options. And this is just kind of freaking silly. In fact, I can also do this emoji right here, this emoji, this emoji, and this emoji. Obviously, as you can see, it combines a bunch of different emojis together to make something cute and something funny. This emoji right here, that's literally me. It's just another cute little feature that you can do on the Google Pixel that I find to be pretty cool. That's Emoji Kitchen, another cool feature of Google Pixel that may be available on other Android devices. Again, I don't know. I just wanted to mention it to you guys because I find that to be pretty cool. One of my absolute favorite features of the Google Pixel is Circle to Search. This is a game changer for me and I want to show you guys how to use this because this is so cool. Let's just say I'm scrolling on Instagram right now. I see something that I want to know more information about. Learn a little bit more about this. This phone right here, this Nokia phone. I can press and hold the bottom screen and then I can circle something on the screen and it's going to give me more information about what this phone is. That is the Nokia Lumia 520 phone. I can search for it. I can see if I can purchase this phone. I can do literally anything by literally pressing and holding on the home bar on the phone and searching for it. This is such a freaking game changer. This is so cool. I've been using this a lot ever since I got this phone because there's been many things that I see either on Instagram or I see on the web and I don't want to take a screenshot and have to upload it into the Google Lens and do all that stuff. You can do that literally all from this phone. And this literally works on any application. I think every single phone should have Circle to Search. It's such a simple feature that is so integrated well into the phone. So that is Circle to Search on the Google Pixel. I believe it's also available on some Galaxy phones as well, but having this on here is just a game changer and it's so, 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 so clutch. I love it. Last but not least, let's talk about Google Gemini. Google Gemini is a feature that comes to a lot of Android devices, but apparently on the Google Pixels, they're a little bit better because they're more optimized and everything. Google Gemini is a AI chatbot platform. I don't know much about AI. And the coolest part about Google Gemini is this feature right here. I tap this button right here. Hi, how are you? 
So I'm filming a YouTube video right now talking about the Google Pixel 8a. Do you know any cool tips and features I can talk about in the video? All right. The Pixel 8 has some really cool features. Magic eraser is awesome for cleaning up distracting stuff in your photos. Okay, I'll definitely do that. All right. Have fun with your video. Let me know if you need anything else. That was creepy. So that was Google Gemini Live. It is really, 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 really cool. The fact that you can do that, you can have an honest conversation with a chatbot and it be natural and everything is just really weird. Let's just talk to Gemini about something. Let's just ask it this. Halloween's rich history is a fascinating blend of ancient Celtic traditions and later Christian influences. So that is pretty cool. So this is awesome that you can actually ask it all this type of stuff, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm not 100% sure how all this works and everything like that, and if it does it on the device or if it sends it to a server or whatever, but it is pretty cool and pretty fascinating that the fact they can actually talk to Gemini and actually use it for that. I don't know if this is much different than ChatGPT or the Copilot or the Apple Intel. I don't... I don't know all about that, okay? I'm just letting you know that you can use these features on here. And that's pretty cool. So that was Gemini for you guys. All of this Android talk is making me very, very tired. <laughs> so yeah, that pretty much was all the tips and tricks I have for you guys talking about the Google Pixel 8a. There is so much to dive into on this phone and I definitely will make an updated Google Pixel video in the future if there's new features that come out or if there's things I've missed. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to hit that button down below and subscribe and click the notification bell to get notifications on whenever I upload a video next. You can also follow me on all the social medias. Links are gonna be down in the description down below and also right here. I shall see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.